So somebody wanted to know about Bob Deroff's rules of cranial nerve three nuclear lesions, nuclear. And what that means is the nucleus is different than the third nerve palsy. And the nucleus of three lives in your midbrain. So here's the nucleus of cranial nerve number three. It's different than its fascicle, which is the part inside the brain cement its peripheral component. This nucleus has a unique organization. The first thing is there's a single central caudal nucleus and that controls the levator called fibra superioris. However, because there's only one of these, then you either get bilateral ptosis or no ptosis with the nuclear lesion. The other muscles that are innervated by cranial nerve three all have subnuclei, medial rectus, inferior rectus, inferior oblique muscle, uh, superior rectus. But the, the thing that's interesting about superior rectus is that it's contralaterally innervated. So it's a crossed innervation. So it's the other side. The nucleus innervates the contralateral side. And therefore, there are some rules that Dr. Daroff made for nuclear thirds. And one of those rules are, what is an obligate which means it has to be nuclear. So given the anatomy that we just described, what has to be nuclear? What has to be nuclear is if you have a third nerve palsy with bilateral ptosis and you only have the lesion on the left because it is damaging this single central caudate nucleus. So that is an obligate nuclear third nerve palsy because how can a left side lesion cause a contralateral fascicle or nerve? It cannot. It can only cause contralateral if it's a single central continent nucleus. And the other obligate palsy is if you have the upgaze palsy on the other side, on the right side in a left lesion, because this is a crossed innervation. So a third nerve palsy plus a contralateral ptosis and a contralateral superior rectus muscle elevation deficit, these are obligate, obligate nuclear thirds. In addition, the Edinger Westfall nucleus is bilateral because its innervation is bilateral. And so if you have a nuclear lesion in the Edinger-Westfall, Edinger-Westfall nucleus, if you have a nuclear third, you uh, might have this obligate combination of lid and pupil and superior rectus on the contralateral side. And that means there's some that cannot be nuclear. They're obligate not nuclear palsies. So what is an obligate not nuclear? It's just the opposite. A unilateral ptosis cannot be nuclear because there's only one single central knot. Or if it's unilateral sparing this, that that can't happen from nuclear either. So that superior rectus muscle and the ptosis cannot be nuclear. So these are obligate not nuclear if it's unilateral, and it's obligate nuclear if it's bilateral ptosis, bilateral upgaze. And then there's the in-between ones, the bilateral pupil could be both. And then the last one is bilateral no ptosis. So third nerve palsy with no ptosis is also obligate because you spared the single central caudal nucleus. These are the Darrow.